So let's take a look at what's being put into these food packs and what we are providing to these families from your kind donations. And these are all non-perishable dry foods that are getting put into the food packs with a long life. Firstly, we do have tomato paste, tomato puree that goes in. Beans are again a very nutritious uh, and long lasting, so it's easy for the families to prepare a meal with these hummus, tinned hummus that we're also giving. There's oil, as you can see, um, that they use for the cooking. Chicken stock uh, and tea. Again, tea is very, very popular with the local culture. So here we have rice, uh, and again, we give two big bags of rice. Uh, and again, this food pack lasts for up to a month. Pasta, lots of pasta, around eight bags uh, of these types of pasta that go into the food pack. Uh, a very important part of the diet, which is dried apricot, gives them a lot of energy, especially in the cold weather. Tinned beef that is provided, so again, there's meat in the diet as well, which is again, very, very important, which are dates. And again, these are dried packed dates. We have a huge bag of sugar um, that is given to the families and providing food packs. And here we have uh, bulgar, uh, which again is a local uh, delicacy and local diet that people have. Two types of lentils um, that go into the food pack as well is halawa, pistachio halawa. It is only down to your kind donations and your contribution that Penny Peel is able to provide in Northern Jordan, both the Syrian and Palestinian refugee camps. Please come to support pennypeel.org or 03011 11 11.